Hello, my name is Cameron. Um, I go to Cortland High School and I am an upcoming senior. Um, and today I've reached my final milestone for my uh, gesture controlled accelerometer. Let me just explain how it works. So basically, this is the code for my motors to work, okay? So basically this just allows it to go forward left right depending on the value right here left right a a w and you also have an accelerometer accelerometer basically reads the gestures you have and basically emits a certain character to that gesture if you're going left if you're going right if you're going up if you're going down then it's going to mark it as such. So if the acceleration x, y, and z, because there's x, y, and z values, which basically determines your your tilt, your acceleration, and what way you are pointing that. So that basically allows my control gestured um, accelerometer to work. How how my car is going to work because using that you can control what way you want the car with literally just your hands you don't have to um, be connected to anything is it's connected by Bluetooth and see that that was one of my main struggles was I was trying to get the Bluetooth working the blue our original Bluetooth module didn't work um, at first I soldered off my motors there was a lot of stuff to do, but I tried. I put in that extra effort, and I got it done. And let me show you that real quick. Okay. So basically, let me see if I can point that down. This is my car. Move my phone real quick. This is my car and this is connected to this is the bluetooth module connected to this bluetooth module this is my arduino uno my arduino uno is basically the control for everything right i have a, um, an arduino micro arduino micro and an arduino uno and my arduino uno is connected to my accelerometer and my micro is connected to my car so let me just show you. Let me turn this on. Okay. So as it's connected to the breadboard, which is just basically connects all the wires into one. And this is the H motor, which every motor is connected to as it's getting powered to the micro. So depending on my gestures of this, it will move forward or backwards. As you can see, this moves it forward, this moves it backwards. Which I think is really cool. I think that is very cool. And then if I set it, if it set a certain angle, it will stop. Yep, yeah, it will stop. If I set it back, if I do this again, it will move forward and backwards. But it's still connected to my breadboard, so it's kind of hard for it to work. But yeah, that was that was a very, you know, it was very uh, enthusiastic. I was very enthusiastic when I finished this project. And now my next steps are to um, eventually add more gestures because this one just goes forward and backwards. But I could make it go left or right, or I can make it. I can even make a gesture that speeds it up depending on how much tilt. So that is what my next miles, not my next milestone, but my next steps are. And what I've learned, you gotta, you just gotta stay with it. This is a lot of experience, um, and I'm thankful. Peace out.